everybody welcome back to the channel and today we're gonna do a cut and rocks video it's just me today it's, uh, it's a beautiful day the boys all have actually friends over playing so you might hear in the background uh, some noise upstairs that's uh, chase and his buddy playing hockey anyway uh i had some bigger rocks that i wanted to cut probably better these are harder rocks as well so it's probably better that i do these today just wanted to get a little different rocks going there i've had these in my bucket for a while wanting to cut them I'll just go through them real quick before we take them over to the saw so i got a piece of unikite here uh looks this looks like some sort of andesitic rock i remember picking this up uh on the newfoundland beach that we went to this summer we'll cut that up see what it looks like uh here's another andesitic type rock uh, it's got some pieces of jasper and feldspar in it with some sort of quartz matrix uh, a nice piece of quartz epidote here that's gonna look pretty cool uh this one here it's a nodule of just quartz right now uh you can see there used to be some sort of mineral in here uh, that's fallen out possibly chabazite or something it's something that looked like it had a kind of like a squarish or rectangular type crystal pattern but no one thinks that's possibly an agate you, uh, you can see some sort of line there but not sure anyway I'm gonna cut it take a look there's a couple pieces of quartzite here uh, this one's really interesting it's 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 really dark kind of looks agate -y. we got some chert um, this one, this is a nicer piece that we picked up this summer. It's got some purples and some blues. Got a nice piece of rhyolite here with some good quartz in it. Kind of looks porphyritic. And another piece of uh, chert, which is very, looks very quartzy. Uh, could even be quartzite. And this one it looks like it's possibly an agate. You can see some banding here. So we're going to give that a cut down right down the middle. So anyway, that's it. A lot of rocks today, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna get these over the saw, cut them real quick, and then we'll show you here at the end. I'm gonna slab a couple of them as well, get some slabs. Anyway, let's go take a look. Okay, so we're back. We made all those cuts, and I'm going to show you them now from what I think is least impressive to most impressive. And you guys can leave a comment describing what you guys think is the best rock uh, out of this bunch. Uh, we had some pretty good ones here, also some couple duds, so I'll go through them right now. So the first piece uh, was that nodule piece of quartz. It uh, We thought maybe it might have some agate features in there. You could see there used to be some pretty big crystals hanging out in this thing uh, but we cut it open and it was pretty much just all quartz it does have some pretty cool crystal structures in there you can see there's like some fanning some elongated crystals so it's not total dud but it's you know it's quartz but pretty cool nonetheless you always got to take a shot and look inside there's a little a little tiny bit of maybe some fate banding might be some zeolite on the on the outer edge here but for the most part it's just quartz so the next rock we got is a piece of unikite and for those of you that do not know what unikite is it's basically a metamorphosed granite just meaning it was it used to be a granite that has now been altered chemically specifically uh, plagioclase feldspar which is the white feldspar is replaced by epidote and what you have left is the pink orthoclase feldspars. You got epidote, and you'll have some quartz. Typically, the mica doesn't hang around either, which 
makes this rock really good for polishing. It tumbles well, cut and polishes well. It's a nice rock to polish it. And if you can get the right color scheme, you know, the pink and the green of the epidote, it really looks awesome. Um, this one had a lot of epidote on the outside, but when I cut it open, it, the epidote was just veining very thin on the inside. So this one's not a great example. I think I've cut some in my previous Cutting Rocks videos that show better examples than this. It's not bad. I like. I, I just love the pink and the green, how they come off each other. But Unikite's one of my all-time favorite rocks. So this next rock was a piece of quartzite that we picked up on Middle Cove Beach in Newfoundland. There's a river that empties out into the cove, and we walked up the river and we found it, and there's a lot of river scum on it. So, But I could tell there's some pretty nice features on it. You can see... Here you can see some pinks and a little bit of greens and blues. So I cut it open, and it's kind of what I, what I expected. Typical of those quartzites there. But you can see a little bit of pink in there, some streaking of some white and blue. These polish up very nice as well. They tumble really nicely. This one's a bit big, uh, but just wanted to take a look inside. So that one turned out pretty cool. This next rock was another rock that we found from Newfoundland. This was on Patrick's Cove Beach. Uh, you can see the video. I'll put a link to the, all these videos where I found these rocks in the upper right-hand corner. This one, I we, on this beach, we found so much of this material. I, I picked up a lot of it because I planned on tumbling some of it. This is the first one I've cut. It's some sort of andesitic type rock, igneous rock. Uh, it's got a lot of feldspar, pink feldspar, and some silica that's in the form of like a jas opaque it's opaque uh, quartz, so it's like jasper. It's red in a lot of places. There are also some white bits in there. But when you cut it open and take a look, this is what it looks like. You can see all the, the darker pieces of jasper, and you can see some pink. There's a nice elongated piece of feldspar there. So I'm really interested to see what how this tumbles. This was very hard to cut. It was a very hard, one of the harder rocks that I cut today. But uh, it's it's got some cool qualities to it. That's why I picked up a lot of it on that beach. So I have enough for, for a 10 pound rotary barrel. So I'm probably gonna do a run of these in the tumbler soon. But it was kind of cool. This next rock was also from that same beach in Patrick's Cove. This is uh, another andesitic granitic type rock. Crystals are much bigger in this rock. And when I cut it open, that's what it looked like. So when you look at it, you, you'd say, well, that, that looks like a, a conglomerate, but it's not a conglomerate. You could tell because the crystals are elongated. They're, they're quite angular. They're not rounded. More a conglomerate, you'd see something more rounded. You'd have a, a specific matrix material. This doesn't. This is all very tiny crystals. Uh, I think there's some epidote there. So this could be a metamorphose granite or possibly a metamorphose andesite, something like that. But it's uh, pretty cool. I like cutting these types of rocks. I have a thing for granites and andesites cutting them open. I like the crystals. But I thought that was pretty neat. Next here was a big old piece of epidote and quartz. So epidote is a nice hard mineral. It polishes well. And when it's you get streaky white quartz in it, it just really looks nice. This rock ended up being pretty nice inside. I really like how the quartz, some of that quartz is translucent, so I really like how it plays off with the green. There's a little bit of brown inclusions in there in these voids. So I, I don't know if it's dirt or it's just some sort of, might be some iron staining or limonite or something. Just got into the voids. But I love how the green plays off with the white. But it's, uh, I liked how that one turned out. I love Epidote. 
I have a lot of Epidote in stock. <laughs> I'm going to be tumbling, doing another big tumbling run of that, just that stuff, eventually. I might have to get another tumbler. I got so much material to tumble. This next rock is a rock that I found at the Secret Mine site in the till. And pretty sure this is a rhyolite. It looks like it might be a porphyritic rhyolite or uh, flow banded rhyolite or something of that nature. It's uh, got a lot of quartz, some jasper. But we cut it open. And looks like that. I love rhyolites. Rhyolites, you get some really nice patterns. In my area, you find a lot of rhyolite with some with a lot of jasper and white quartz in it. In Newfoundland, where we were rock hunting in the past summer, we found a lot of rhyolite, a lot of brecciated rhyolite and porphyritic rhyolite. And I have a lot of that material too, which I, of course I need to cut and tumble and But really liked how that one turned out. This next rock is also from Newfoundland and from Middle Cove Beach. And this is this beach that I go to, I pick up a lot of chert. And this is a piece of chert. I know it's chert. I'll, I'll let you know in a second. But I'll, I'll uh, first I'll let you take a look at what, how it looks on the inside. It's, it's purple and blue on the outside. You get some really nice colorful cherts on that beach. And when you open it up, this is what it looks like. This chert has some features that I've noticed that it has some dendritic features. You can see here, I have a piece that I cut in the summertime that has a lot, a really good example of some dendritic features in it. It's, it's a nice little added feature to these rocks. I know this is chert because... When you cut chert or flint or any of that type of that material, it cuts very sharp. So typically when I cut rocks on that particular saw in my house, uh, it kind of chips the edges and they get rounded. But this, you can see how sharp this is. That is super sharp. I could probably cut with that. And that is a feature of chert and flint and other type of microcrystalline quartz. Jasper doesn't even cut that that sharp it's it's just a very sharp cut and it has a, just that churty texture so I know that's chert it's very colorful and it looks just like the other shirts that I've, that I've cut from that beach yeah I really love this stuff tumbles really nicely and you know I could polish that and then that shine would really pop out and the colors would pop out on that so these are really cool rocks I really like them and here's another example of that shirt from that same beach and this has this nice green kind of baby bluish hue to it and this is also chert and it has a lot of dendritic features in this one you can see but this particular color is really the color I'm after on that beach when I go and the reason why is is because it just it looks so cool inside like look how cool that is and you got these black dendritic features. I, I, really, I still haven't identified what this black mineral is that's throughout these charts. But you can see these swirly, colorful blues. I mean, it's just a really cool rock. I mean, it's so nice. This is one of my favorite rocks. Again, you can see the sharp edges, the conchoidal fracture, very typical of microcrystalline quartz and chert. And I could look at that all day, I love that. Last but not least, we picked this up on Morden Beach, uh, in our Morden Beach video, which I'll put a link here. You can see it's got some interesting things going on, on the outside it's possible banding here and kind of looks like a sea maggot so got some orange stuff going on here too so we cut it right down the middle and it just looked really cool like look at these agate details in here that's that's black agate opal uh, it just 
so cool. It's like a chalcedony lined with black opal. It's just, man, this this rock really turned out nice. A lot of going, lot going on in it. Just some faint banding here. I don't know what the orange is. I, I'm, I'm thinking it, it might be some sort of zeolite, but uh, it's just really cool rock. So that's the video. Those are all the rocks I have. I have another rock, cutting rocks video that I want to do and use the big saw, the 16 inch saw, because these the other ones are really big, but I have a lot of these types of cherts to cut. I have bigger ones this color and I just want to start slabbing them because there's some things I want to do. I want to make some potential jewelry pieces out of them. So I, I have some bigger pieces of this that I'm going to slab and I'll, I'll, that'll be coming up in a future Cutting Rocks video. But until then, thanks for watching this video. Uh, please like and subscribe. You know, leave a comment in the comment section. Let me know what of this batch, what your favorite rock was. Anyway, have a great week. Take care. We'll talk to you soon.